Hello, Lisa here. Today we're going to talk about monarchs. Monarchs are insects. Many insects are pollinators, animals that help plants to create fruits and seeds. Pollinators are important to us because we depend on them for much of our food supply. If you like to eat apples, watermelon, tomatoes, or eat sunflower seeds, you have needed a pollinator. Let's take a look at the monarch and learn about the unique characteristics and life cycle of this important and beautiful insect. During this presentation, you will learn about the characteristics of insects like the monarch, the changes in the butterfly life cycle, known as metamorphosis. We will also look at the importance of milkweed leaves and nectar to the monarch, and finally discuss the monarch migration to Mexico. Butterflies are part of the animal group known as insects. There are over 10 quintillion insects in the world. Did you know if you weighed all the insects in the world, they would weigh more than all the humans? That's a lot of bugs. Insects have specific characteristics that make them an insect. Insects like the monarch will have three body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. Attached to the thorax will be six legs. Some insects will also have wings attached here. The last criteria are two antennae atop the head and compound eyes. Animals must have all these characteristics to be an insect. The term we use to talk about the change a butterfly goes through is called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis starts with the adult butterfly. The monarch lays an egg on the underside of the milkweed leaf. In a couple of days, a tiny caterpillar emerges and starts to eat the leaves of the milkweed. It will continue to eat and grow for about two weeks. The next stage is forming the chrysalis, a protective covering made from the outer skin of the caterpillar. The caterpillar is in the chrysalis for about two weeks, and then it emerges as a beautiful butterfly. The butterfly must slowly stretch its wings to dry takes about an hour and then flies away to find a nectar source and start the process all over again. Butterfly food is called nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid at the base of a flower and is used to attract pollinators which need the nectar as a food source. A good source has large flowers or multiple flowers per stem. The butterfly uses its long straw-like proboscis to sip the nectar. The monarchs are also looking for milkweed plants. These plants are necessary for the survival of the monarch butterfly and the caterpillar. The caterpillar uses its chewing mouth parts to eat the leaves. You can see the milky substance dripping from the picture on the left. This sticky sap contains a toxin that makes the monarch caterpillar and butterfly taste bad and thus protects it from predators. If you touch the sap, do not taste it or get it into your eyes as it does contain a harmful chemical to us. In order for monarchs to survive and complete their life cycle, milkweed plants and nectar sources are vital. Monarchs migrate. Butterflies need sun to keep their bodies warm. In late September, monarchs fly from Illinois to west central Mexico, about 60 miles northwest of Mexico City. Their destination is a forest of pine and firs in the mountainous regions of Mexico. In total, the journey is about 3,000 miles and takes about three months to complete. During the journey, monarchs need to stop, rest, and feed, much like we do if we take a long car ride. As the butterflies travel to and from Mexico, it is imperative they have adequate nectar and milkweed for food. Once the monarchs reach Mexico, they attach to the Oyamel fir trees, which offer protection from the elements. When the butterflies arrive, they find and attach to the Oyamel fir tree. This tree has sturdy branches to hold the butterflies and can protect them from wind and rain. It is at a high altitude that is cool enough to keep the monarchs quiet, but warm enough they don't freeze and don't use too much energy. These forests do not have a lot of nectar sources and water is from the cloud and mist. The monarchs are essentially living off the stored fruit from their journey south. The monarchs that left Illinois in the fall are the same monarchs that begin the migration back in the spring. Once these butterflies reach Texas, they stop, rest, and lay eggs. It is this generation of butterfly that continues the journey north. 
it is important for monarchs to have food sources at each stop. And at this first stop in Texas, milkweed must be available for the caterpillars. If the butterflies arrive with little food sources, their survival will be affected. In 2013, severe storms hit the overwintering site in Mexico, killing thousands of butterflies. These environmental impacts caused us to have few butterflies last year. In total, the butterflies will go through four life cycles in a year, the last one flying back to Mexico in the fall. Migrating and survival isn't easy. Along the way, the butterflies have to watch out for predators, like birds and wasps that can eat them, or even people who are spraying chemicals to get rid of pests. Sometimes people don't realize that spraying for one type of bug can actually hurt all kinds of bugs and insects, like butterflies. Migrating and surviving can be tough for monarchs, but you can help. Plant some flowers, preferably native, that will provide nectar for the adults to sip and milkweed for the caterpillars. Provide a rock for warming and resting. A small puddle for water is a perfect way to help our pollinators and butterflies get the minerals they need. And make sure it's in a sunny spot. Providing lovely plants for the butterflies is one sure way to have happy butterflies for years to come. Thanks for joining me as we learn about monarch butterflies.